Hello and welcome to Firefly, a Thief 2 fan mission by Lobster and Mergidian. Um, I've done a briefing video, so let's read the text. Welcome to the small town of Firefly. You are Joe, a small time thief. Currently you are visiting your cousin Jack in the cosy little town of Firefly. It is a lovely evening and you are resting in the lazy barrack lodge, wondering where you dropped your lucky blackjack and waiting for your cousin to show up. Let us begin. Um, it is a work night and your favourite blackjack is missing. Find your lucky blackjack. Time to stop relaxing at the lazy barrack lodge and get some travelling funds. Swipe at least 2,000 gold. I will check the diff different difficulty levels in a second. Thieving is all well and good, but murder is too much. Don't kill anyone unarmed. When everything is done, return to the highway gate to buy the lazy barrack lodge. Ah, uh, let's just... Uh, loot this goes 3,500. Let's, let's stick with hard. Is that you, Jack? Hey, there you are. Here you go, Joe. Thanks, Jack. Hey, Joe, I found out who has your blackjack. That stupid guard over at the mayor's house was bragging about the big fight some fellow gave him, and so he kept it as a trophy. Yeah, right. We both know you dropped that thing on one of your friendly visits to the richer neighbors. Anyway, he's got this, and he's too good a card player to lose it to me. By the way, Bruno told everyone in town he's looking for you. If anyone sees you, they'll call the guards for sure. This could be a good time to visit Aunt Martha. Signed, Jack. P.S. Lose some money to me sometime, will you? How about I start by getting some valuables? Alright, do we have a map of Firefly? We do. We're at the Lazy Boat Lodge. Oh, there's... A... Okay, there's Bruno, Jack, Mayor Quimby, Private Park. And further out, we get to the Pond, Healer, and the Wilds. Linda the Healer. All right. Hello, someone's lost valuable crystals here above the fireplace. You know, leaving leaving visible valuables in your uh, your pub, it's not bad. It. She's brilliant. Okay. Uh, here's the thing, right? So this is definitely this is a custom uh, health bar. Um, I do complain about changes to the compass. And change it to the light gem because they make it hard to read. Change it to the health bar. Don't bother me at all because it's just a individual pips. It doesn't really matter what shape or size or color the pips are as long as there's the number of pips is visible. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> the pub is dead except for the rats. Who are you? <coughs> oh, the air is getting so filthy right here. So that would be this house, okay. I mean, can we go in it? No, it doesn't open, does it? Unless we get to the roof, do we have any kind of equipment? We don't have a blackjack across. Or it has white arrows, fire arrows, rope arrows. Okay, and here we've got... Obviously I'll scroll, one healing potion, one cheese, which I just picked up. Three flash bombs. Alright, the window doesn't open. We can go around the back. Aha! The windows at the back do open. Small time thieves they call me. Look, this otherwise impenetrable building, I shall make its valuables my own. <laughs> And read some text. Where has Magrin gone? He has been gone for nearly a week. The last time I saw him, he was off drinking with Bruno. I checked with Bruno, all the neighbours, the healer, nearly everyone. No one has seen him. Tomorrow I will make an appeal to the mayor that we do a search. Even on his wildest binges, he was never gone this long before. I'm sorry I yelled at him about losing the talk. I miss his drunken singing. Even if he is much better at catching a bottle than a rabbit, I want him home. Where is he? <laughs> Wait, does this open? Or is that locked? It's just silent right now, but I don't know if it's uh, if it works because it's weird that it's probable because it makes no sound. Apparently not. Hmm. It's a little odd. 
I mean, I don't have a key or anything. Doesn't seem to be any kind of switch that opens it, just so that I can see. No. Right. Because that's like the middle of the house. Is that the, is that the front of the house? Uh, oh, the air is getting so. Good. Maybe it is the front of the house. Oh, yeah. Okay, and it is pickable. I don't know why. Right. Okay. I was say, I don't know why uh, it didn't seem to do anything, but I just hadn't got quite far enough on my lockpicking. Alright, fine. Could have gone in the front door. Okay, they don't seem to be coming here. What's this place? Say, Garrett, don't get stuck in the window. Joe, try not to get stuck in windows. Ooh, apples. Joe is a hungry fellow. Oh, there she is. She left. She left the this town area. Ah, I'm gonna just come in the front door. You know, sneaking in the window is so much more uh, refined and sophisticated. She's still there. No, there's nobody here. There's nothing here. Why would there be anything here? Alright. Let's head south and check out Bruno's house, I suppose. Whoa, everybody's here. where she goes before we run out into the light. Oh, she's running out of the door and standing at it. Hmm. Gonna call the guards. I didn't think I'd get seen that quickly. Whoops. What I could do Just try climbing up here. Oh. Who made that noise? Even if the guy's drunk, he does have a big sword. Help! Help! He's after me. So perhaps we better stay out of his way. I don't know my lucky blackjack, so I can't uh, can't exactly knock him on the head with it. Here. <laughs> mm. 
No, so he's giving up searching, he's just gonna stand there and wobbling now. I mean, that's... No, okay, he's gonna go back and wobble down, back down below. That's fair enough, I suppose. There's nobody in here. Can you imagine it all? Anyway, now I have a, an exit route if I need to. <laughs> Those are pretty hefty locks, and that means I stand in bright, really bright light while people wander around off, off screen. It's a noisy carpet. Suspiciously noisy carpet, let me say. Bruno, we need more labour down in the mines, and we need it now. Travel isn't transient sounds enough. I want you to go into town and pick up a few more men, but do it discreetly. Get some strong-looking drunks in here. Get the stupid type that get lost on their way home and wind up spending the night in the woods. If anyone notices them missing, well, they probably fell in the lake and drowned or something. Just get them in the mine and get them working. Mayor Quimby. P.S. You're not doing something stupid like keeping a diary, are you? And make sure to destroy this note! Find Bruno's diary, okay. That lights off is good. So there's clearly a secret room, a secret trapdoor there. How does it open? I don't know, what's downstairs? I mean, maybe there isn't a secret trap door. It would kind of come through to here. Maybe it is just a surprisingly noisy um, piece of carpet, you know? There's strong metal threads. Hello? Some, some, some coins there. Oops. <laughs> he saw me in that brief moment. Whoopsie daisy. Right, that door doesn't Are you open. again? Ah, you always win. Lost enough money. Here, I'll let you get first. Like that helps make you tougher. Well... Okay, here. Stone or coin? Mm, all right. Uh, stone! Nope. Cars it. How do you do that? Here you go. Double or nothing. Coin. Damn you! Here. Double or nothing again? Hey. Oh, get away from me. Last time we went this way, I owed you three weeks. Oh, he did see me and pulled the guards, but the guard's not very dedicated. Oh, he's going to be search now too, is he? Oh, he's got... Things. I mean, some pathfinding difficulties. Um. I think that was a conversation from Thief 3. Thief 3. Ah, oh, he's got a downstairs door. Maybe that's where I should have tried to come in. Rather than the brightly lit front door. Maybe it was just me not being clever enough. Rather than, uh, you know, just, just going brute force for the front entrance. Everyone wandering around up there, bright lights on. It was kind of foolish. Yeah, the back door would have been a lot more sensible, wouldn't it? Whoops. Okay, so is Bruno's diary hidden in his house? Is the question. How did everyone stop looking for me in here? I can come up here again and, s and look for switches and things again. Not that switch. Aha! Uh -huh. 
It was a suspicious carpet. There aren't any street people left that are strong enough to work in the mine, and of course that pompous jerk of a mayor wants more of the mine dug up. Dig more, dig more. <laughs> we can't dig any faster without more workers, and there are precious few of those around. Sometimes I wish we'd never discovered those purple gems in the lake and found that abandoned mine. I don't see why he doesn't just hire the townsfolk to work the mine. He's probably paying us guards almost as much as he would have to pay them for mining. That way I wouldn't need to kidnap them, and the guards could just oversee them like we do now. Now he has me kidnapping the town drunks. Get the strong looking drunks. Does he have any idea how long it takes to break them and how careful I have to be not to injure them too much? I'd like to have his mayoral carcass on the rack. He looks like he could use a good stretch. Okay, optional. The mayor could use a good stretch on the rack. Oh well, that's the kind of objective I like. That's a fun objective. We have to find a rack, we have to find the mayor, and we have to find my lucky blackjack. Uh. So that explains, uh, oops, explains this note, right? Magrin has, has been uh, kidnapped to go work in the mines. But what about the other scroll that I've got? Um, blah, blah, blah. Right, the guard at the mayor's house has it. It wasn't Bruno that had it. I was getting confused there. Where was the back door? Ah, uh, here. Okay, where are we? Uh, Mayor Quimby's house is to the east. Okay, so this is Jack's house. And this is... Is this where we just were? This is Bruno's house? No. This is a uh, storage of goods for the outdoor pub. Very nice. Nope, nope, nope. That one, thank you. Close it up. Just tidy up after myself. Oh, there's a guard. Nice pond, lily pads. Well, I kind of wonder is if there is anything. In this stairway. This is a very cool stairway carved into the rock here. Carved through the rock, no less. Uh -huh. So let's break into Jack's house. I mean, he's my cousin. We shouldn't need to break into his house, but let's do it anyway. It's good practice. <laughs> Good practice for our thief. He doesn't even lock it. How do you want me to practice, Jack, if you won't even lock... How do you want me to practice my lock picking if you won't even lock your doors? At least I can practice my banner destruction. Alright. Okay, I guess I can practice my lock picking on your private chest. Steal all your underwear, throw it in the pond. Or just steal your money and not throw it in the pond. I guess that works too. I wonder where Jerry has been lately. That pest owes me four gold from the guard game last week. He should be paid soon, and I'd like to see my gold before he spends it on that fancy wine he likes. Last time I saw him, he was drinking with Bruno. Now that's a guy who has come into some money lately. The mayor must pay him real good. I'll ask him if he has seen Jerry. Then I'll get him to play a game of cards. He's got plenty of dough to lose to a card shark like me. Well, maybe not anymore. I've stolen everything he had. So let's not turn the lights on. Well, actually, no, let's turn the lights on for a brief look around the room. Since windows and door are shut, it should be fine. Just to see if anything looks suspicious. No, downstairs then. Alright, it's brightly lit. We don't want to be seen in here if we can avoid it. Anybody notice this? Looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Oh, well, Jack, there's some money I can lose to you in the next card game. You shouldn't gamble, Jack. It's bad for you. I'm going to throw your cards in the pond. <laughs> I mean, it may not be bad for you. It's bad for the town. I 
So there's a recent discussion on the Drummond server about room brushing doorways and the explanation of why you need to use two room brushes on either side of the door instead of just one. And this is why, because when you've got one on only one side of the door, the sound portal, the, the, the join between the room brushes where the sound travels through, ends up on one side of the door rather than in the middle. So from one side of the door, if we were on the outside, we would hear this lock picking just fine. And just here it's really muffled because it's uh, it thinks it's coming through the door to get to us because it has to go out the other side then back in. So the door blocks the sound. The same is true of, of uh, uh, shutters that we couldn't hear at all. They were blocking 100% of the sound. Not, not a big deal. It's nothing serious. But uh, so it's uh, making a level and doing it properly. Um... I mean, it's it's kind of like you know if you don't know if you it just if it's your first level or whatever if you don't really know what you're doing it's not really it's not a big deal. Um, but if you're gonna do things properly, where did I put the back of cards? It was up here. Today. Did I just drop it here? What? There it is. Wow, everybody got really upset about back of cards being thrown into the pond. You can't hide for long. Where's the second guard come from? Did he come through those gates? I guess that's possible. Make sure I have an escape route. This is your last chance. Step out here. I won't hurt you. You won't. You're quite right. Oh, he, he noticed something now. All right, stop fooling around. Where are you? Whoops. <laughs> oh, hello. Is there a garden up there I could get to? <clears throat> Ouch. Come back here and fight. There's nothing here, man. Come on, coward. Face me like a man. No. You got a big sharp stick, and I don't want it stuck in me. Besides, I was only getting rid of the cards, the, the marks decks that uh Jack use us to police you all. Well, you're not gonna stop. You're not gonna stop there, are you? Ugh. That's inconvenient. Well, seems clear. Well, maybe it's actually convenient after all. Oh, there's a balcony up there. I wonder, will it rip out of sticking that balcony and that railing? It will not. Hello? Oh, that's not that's not balcony railing. That's that's just where. Uh... That's just the uh, up front of that house I've been to. But there does seem to be a back to, to this area, which is interesting. I don't know how I would get there. I can try this. It's probably not going to work. What was that? <laughs> what 
does work. Okay, hello. Front me stick. A talk. New objectives. Hey, you found Magrin's talk. I did. I didn't expect it to be lying back here. What's that? What's this about? Terrible tragic story of cursed well where rabbit has drowned when last I played this mission. The rabbits are a little erratic but fun to watch. Have the the guards been living on nothing but carrots? Wrong piece stuck. Secret, seven out of three. Does this mean I found the Easter egg? Oh, this is a quote scroll, I guess, from the uh, developers of this mission. As a thief, I must be able to hide. You can quote me on that. Alright, well, we'll leave that there for the next tablet to find. Don't be sick, so. Mm. So this is kind of a secret area then. Who goes there? Hey, Who made that? that noise? Yeah, everybody's all riled up again. Brilliant. They will see me going through the gate, that's the problem. Hmm. See, I don't have my blackjack, so I need to get to the mayor's house. He stole it. Or, or rather, his guard stole it. Stop fooling around! Where are you? Hang on, that looks like a necklace down here in the pond. Yeah, it is. Okay, going for a swim is worthwhile. I don't need to take the backs of cards back, but uh, the gold fell in here and nobody knows. Come out here now! I'm not kidding. I'm out. I'm out here. 1479. All right, we're getting close to. Uh... You know what? We lost a hit point. There we go. We got it back. Thanks. Thanks, apples. Apple a day keeps the healing potion away. Oh, now the guard is going... Oh, I see. So he stopped over there because he couldn't get through the gate. Because the gate was locked. So normally he was patrolling out that way and he heard me. You know what? We could actually use that to our advantage, perhaps. Or just go out here and make a run for it. This is the mayor's house. Perhaps. Oh, is that the guard then? It's not the guard outside the mayor's house who stole my blackjack. Or rather, located it and claimed it for himself. Just somebody making noise. No, it's the guard in here. I'll we'll need to watch out for. Does this gate key work on that gate as well? It does, that's good. see us in out here. Don't know what I'm hearing from the backyard there. Frog beast, I think. Among other sounds. You know what I think I think upstairs might be the better way to approach this. Let's go up to the balcony. Back there. Help! 
I did not think. Yeah. Okay, well, let's. Do you see me? I thought that was wood on the balcony. It looked like wood. Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. I didn't save before throwing the rope arrow because I was quite sure it was wood, and it turned out not to be. Hmm. On the other hand, there is wood nearby. Oh shit! No, 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 no. This is good. They won't be able to get back now. <laughs> oh no, he's got the key. He locks it behind him now. What's, what's he really out there for? There's frog beasts out there, man. Be careful. I think we could maybe jump to the roof there. Hmm, no, it's a slidey roof. Not working. Alright, with the guard gone, I guess we have free range of the inside of the house now, right? He won't be able to come back. I hope. He picked his pocket of the key. Hmm, actually. <laughs> yeah, the other guy's not coming back here. Hold it. Intruders. Yeah. You can't hide forever. Let's just keep our robbing happening and Forget the gadgets. I was trying to see if that guy had a key I could pick pocket. Well, actually, let's have a look. If he comes in here, we can see if he's got a key. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? He's got the. He's not carrying the key on his waist belt. He's a smart one. He's carrying it. In his mouth or something, I don't know. It's in his pockets. Make sure he can't see me through the window. Yes. Beautiful lucky blackjack. Alright. Was that guard that had it? You know what? Oh, I've only got one mass arrow, but you know what? I'm gonna use it here. Just because I hate the noise so much, right? Lights out, thank you. Valuables in, thank you. Right, there's a the stairs up. Kitchen. Jesus. Is that spice? Yeah, stick on top. I dropped a ring in the sink. Be careful of that. Hello, that looks... Looks like something, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, 
doesn't seem to open from this side. <laughs> Probably should have kept my moss out over here because this is a noisy floor. It's not a switch hidden on the fireplace, is there? Is that a switch? Does this lead through the mines? I feel like maybe it does. You know what? Let's uh, explore that in a minute. Let's finish in this house first. Stealing in here? No. Apparently not. Right, let's just close the door and let you snore. That's the front door. Definitely probably a sound back there. Everywhere I go, I get wet. What is up with all this water? I stay overnight at the mine, water comes under the wall. I come home and the bathtub overflows all over me. I go by the lake and I swear the water rises up so my feet get wet. Wet, wet, wet. I hate getting wet all the time. That's <laughs> you! I'm getting a cold. I'm going to have to visit Linda the Healer soon. Uh, she's called Linda the Healer, not Linda the Dryer. Okay, let's take a look upstairs. Whoops, that's not quite what I intended to do at this point. Valuable little statuettes. Bathroom. Who's there? Is someone back there? Don't mind me, lady. <sighs> It's not that door. Do you have any valuables in here, ma'am? Well, now I can look around and find out. What? Guards! Help! Help! Them. Okay, well, now I can look around noisily. I'll just. Put you to bed, shall we? Uh. Read your diary. Frank is home from his business trip. He brought with him the most beautiful purple gem I've ever seen. It is simply stunning. I'm so glad he is back. I just got the good news from Linda the Healer. We're going to have a little addition in a few months. We should name him Benny. He can start out in the guards like his father did. And with our help, he'll be sure to be more than just mayor when he grows up. The healer came up here today asking if we had seen her husband. Apparently he came up missing while on a walk in the woods. That is very strange. He had always seemed to be an accomplished woodsman. Fred said that he would send out a few guards to go look for him. I need to go see Linda again. Fred insisted that Bruno the guard accompany me to, the, to her house today. He is so protective. Bruno told Linda that they didn't come up with any sign of her husband. I wonder what happened to him. Fred is going to be out of town again to talk to some merchants and try to get some businesses to move here. That would really improve this town. Once the merchants are here, then this tiny little town will get some of the trappings of civilization. Okay. Ah, they've got a baby room all, all ready as well. Look at that big teddy bear. 
Okay, well. Let's check the map. Hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll see where this passage in the kitchen goes, shall we? Was. Not there where I wasted my moss. Not there. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> what dark secrets do you hide down here, Fred the Mayor? Or with all these mushrooms, there might be light secrets. Hmm. They might be, uh... Hissing secrets. I do not like that sound. Only a little one. That's all right. Little ones aren't too bad. Oh, canal. A doorway or just an archway? I think it's just an archway. More dropped goblets. This is definitely going a long way. Wet beside him. Safe key. What was that? Oops. That was I meant to drop it on the bed, not the floor, but <clears throat> Well he's gonna search for whatever working from his sleep. Hope he doesn't find anything, yeah? Give him a moment to calm down. I suppose I could send him back to sleep again. Probably the best idea, actually. Oh, look at all these gems. Alright, oh, I can't close the safe again. See, he has the flares put in his secret tunnel of darkness. Oh, more guards, where are we? Key. This one we can pick. Uh, there we are. 
Okej, okay, okej. Okay. Vem spricker med? One business. Okay. The other guy comes through here, I don't know. Uh, what the hell? And you saw all the banners. I'm a little upset. I'm just going to uh, carefully lock this jail key again. Looks like I found the mine. Okay. Yeah, right, okay. Mm. Noise stopped. Guess it was nothing. Hmm. I want to see what's in that room. It's not extremely safe. switch okay there's a light switch that's fine overflowing sink more apples mmm tasty because even if the light was on I could hide from this guy I think so these countertops note to self keep Mayor Quimby out of the kitchen even if I have to take him his dinners personally every time that guy comes into this kitchen the drain stops working until he goes back home I think I don't need to hang on to that note. Yes. It's cursed. Cursed with liquid. Nothing in here. Oh well. It must have been nothing. I did not expect him to turn the light back on. In here. Silly idea. Uh, should be a little safer from uh, interruptions. in here, I don't think. If I need to stack some crates, I know where to find them. Oh, you just turned the light switch off with you. It's a little odd. I think he's just switching it one way or the other when he leaves. I guess it's safer this way around, surely.
gonna steal all the goods. A journal. Well, let's read that. This is odd, but wherever Mayor Quimby goes, gets wet or flooded. There's been a wonderful dry summer, yet there's a puddle coming into his room. He goes out to the storage shack, and the lake comes up and floods part of the floor. He went into the kitchen, and the cook swore that the sink was draining perfectly until that guy showed up. I don't know what the deal is with him, but I don't want that guy anywhere near me. I mean, that makes perfect sense. There's more... More loot. Turn around, go back out. That's a good guard. Diary. Rudolph brought in another miscreant from the town today. The guy was so drunk he could hardly stand. I wonder what he did to be brought here. For such a sleepy little town, they certainly seem to have a lot of criminals to put away. Unless drinking is a crime punishable by forced labour anyway. I've never seen such a place for partying. I got cut today at sword practice. Darn thing bled something fierce. Tom took me to the healer's house to get it fixed. She's real good. It hardly hurts at all now. They brought in a fellow today that I'm sure is that healer's husband, Kevin. Bruno said that he had been found stealing from the mayor's house. That he took that fancy purple stone the mayor's wife really likes to show off. And he still has it hidden somewhere. That can't be possible. I saw her show it off to someone just yesterday. Something isn't right here. Why are innocent townspeople being brought here? And who is ordering it? I thought these were all condemned criminals. Uh, hey, uh, no. Let Kevin out of jail. Okay. That's a good idea, honestly. Maybe when the guards are not going to intercept him. More pack of cards, more evils of gambling. Alright, well, let's make sure Garrett still can aim a bow. Well, close enough. That's just a guard room. Anything in here? I mean, there might be something secret. I don't know. Guess nobody else comes in here. I can look around, right? Seems seems innocuous enough. So I need to go down that hallway to the right now. I think with timing is terrible. Yeah, timing is terrible. I suppose I can knock these guys out, but I'll wait until I have a good reason to do so. Ah, maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's the jail cell. We'll have to see. Also looks like mines. You know what? Let's Someone say something. give ourselves a bit more darkness over there. What are you doing here? I don't know. Heads are gonna roll now. The mayor must have been here to get this to flood. I did not expect to suddenly be super bright, but I didn't see the light there. It was unfortunate. And putting on that torch didn't really do very much. Uh, 
out again? Damn it. <laughs> I'm closing in, Taffer. I suspected I was there the moment I tried to reach his, uh, first bucket. I guess he was still a bit on edge. <coughs> Maybe I can turn off the generator over there, that'd be, uh, have all the power, all the lights go out. That would be useful, wouldn't it? There we go. Kevin must be in there. I love the riding rate car, looks like fun. I'll do that shortly, but let's see if we can follow this guy safely. Mm -hmm. I guess this spot would not have been dark without the torch. What do we got here? Shovels, picks. Mm. Run up to that far corner and see if there's a way to switch things off. There probably isn't, right? Dead rat. There's always rats. Oh, that's noisy. All of a sudden. <laughs> Alright, shall I go ride the minecart? <laughs> oh, this is excellent. Wow, he's fast. Those are my flash bombs. <laughs> you're, you're a good runner, man. Excellent work. Alright, let's, uh... Find a dark corner for you. That was a ride. Oh wow, these mines are very extensive. Um, you know what? What am I even doing in here? I mean, getting loot, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Well, I guess we've got a lot to explore. And uh, an excellent time to do that would be uh, in the next episode. So I'll see you then.